Did you like see them in bed with each other? What what exactly happened? I had my suspicions. So I sat up at the very top of the steps to listen for anything. And about five minutes into them being in the kitchen together, I started hearing moaning, lots of moaning. So I kind of just sat there in awe for a second, like, holy shit. And I thought to walk in on my mom fucking my boyfriend. Hello. Hello. Is this Sarah? It is. Well, Sarah, how can I get you this evening? Is uh, What's going on with you? Well, it's a bit of a bit of a story, but to summarize, about two years into my relationship with my boyfriend, um, he slept with my mother, and then I proceeded to continue the relationship for an, another five years. Um, so, and now we're still living together even though we broke up about two months ago. Really? So you guys have been together for seven years total? Seven years total, yes. Okay. And what did you do after you first found out that he had slept with your mom two years in? Um, So immediately I left the house because at the time he was living with me and my parents at my parents' house. So I immediately left and I went and stayed with another family member for about a week. But he ended up coming there and like profusely apologizing. And we basically got back together almost immediately. Hmm. And what Mm -hmm. was it that led you to be able to forgive him so fast? Um, So I wouldn't say that I forgave him. It was more so that he made me believe that it didn't happen. And my mom made me believe that it didn't happen. And so I thought that, okay, maybe it didn't happen, even though I knew that it happened. But I thought, you know what, we can do this, we can pretend that it didn't happen, and then everything can be fine. And I thought that that was a good idea. So, also, I kind of want to say that I feel that because he was, he was 19 at the time, I feel like it was more so, reflecting now, it was more so the blame goes to my mom, right? Because, right? Let's, before we get into, you know, uh, blame and whatnot, why, uh, 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 so you, you were, you were, you, your plan was to just pretend like it didn't happen. Yes. And I feel like I successfully did that. Sort what of. was I would what, what did they him. say to you? Mm-hmm. What did they say to you to convince you that it didn't happen? Were they just profusely lying to you that it didn't happen, but you had a suspicion that it did? Yes. Well, I didn't just have suspicion. Like it happened and I saw it happen. And so but they were trying to convince me that it didn't. So yes, they were basically just lying and say, saying, no, you didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything. Nothing happened. Mm-hmm. And how successful were you in pretending like it didn't happen? I feel like I was pretty success- successful unless him and I had any sort of disagreements or arguments. Or sometimes I would just sit and think on it and then I would have to bring it up and be like come on do you want to stop lying and say that you didn't sleep with my mom even though I know that you did mm-hmm. and so but you stay with him I for feel five like I was overall successful. you stay with him for five years after that yes yeah and during those five years how prevalent was this issue in your mind and in your relationship I feel that it was pretty prevalent, especially any time my mom and him were together. 
I couldn't help but think about it whenever they were in the same room or if we were on vacation and, you know, they were together. I kind of couldn't help but think about it then, but it was pretty easy to not think about it whenever they weren't together. And why did you guys break up? Uh, you said this was two two weeks ago you guys broke up? Or did I pull that out of nowhere? Oh, like two months, two months ago. Two months ago. Why did you guys um, break up two months ago? We broke up just because I didn't want to be with him anymore. Not for any specific reason. I just felt like the relationship could run its course. Mm-hmm. Do you regret at all not breaking up with him five years ago when you found out that he slept with your mom? Or do you stand by that decision? Yeah, that's a part that I'm having an issue with now. Is I don't know how I should feel about it at this point. It happened so long ago. I don't know if I should be regretting it or not. I kind of do, but I also kind of don't at the same time. Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting, uh, you know, regret in general is an interesting thing. I mean, this is, uh, you know, a crazy situation that he, he slept with your mom. But I think in the general realm of people breaking up with their spouses or significant others or whatever and then going, oh, do I regret that time? It's like the debate of whether or not you regret it. It's almost irrelevant, right? Because that, t- that time has passed. And now you only have the time in front of you to do whatever it is you're going to do. Right. And that's kind of how I'm trying to look at it. But it's difficult at times whenever I think about, oh, my God, that was like seven years. You know, I could have done so many other things at that point in time. So it's hard to not look at it that way, too. Do you ever have a confrontation with your mom about this? Oh, yeah. What? How did that go down? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, it's basically I've had this confrontation with her several times, and it's always the same thing where she tells me I'm crazy and that it's a disgusting idea that she would ever sleep with someone much younger than her and that I'm crazy. That's basically how it goes. And to this day, five years later, has she still denied it? She still denies it, yes. Hmm. You said you saw them. Did you, I mean, can you tell me about that? Did you, like, see them in bed with each other? What What exactly happened? Yeah, so it wasn't in bed. It was in the kitchen. It was very early in the morning. Um, probably, like, 6.30, 7 a.m. And... Um, I had my suspicions, and so what I did was he and I were living upstairs in my parents' house. So I sat up at the very top of the steps to listen for anything because they were both in the kitchen together. And about five minutes into them being in the kitchen together, I started hearing moaning, lots of moaning, and it continued. So I kind of just sat there in awe for a second, like, holy shit, am I about to walk in on my mom fucking my boyfriend? And so that's what I did. I basically, like, ran down the stairs. They heard me running down the stairs, so I walk into the kitchen, and they're pulling away from each other. Jesus, I can't believe they did that while you were home in the kitchen in the morning. Yeah, um, well, I normally, I would sleep late. At that point in time. So I don't think that they thought that I was awake. And I wouldn't have been awake if I weren't suspicious of this happening in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so that's the only reason I think that I called them in the first place. I don't think that they would have done it if I was awake or if they thought that they would have gotten called. Or maybe they would have. I don't know. But I would think not. What is your relationship like with your mom in general? Um pretty distant i would say we're not particularly close uh has it always been like that like throughout your your life yeah yeah i'm much closer with my dad my dad and i are very close my mom and i not so much forgot about the dad angle to this what the fuck is his yeah his deal with all (laughs) this what's he think what tell me about that Mm. So my parents are married. They're not divorced. 
Um, they have a very strange relationship, though, where he's... Uh, it's kind of complicated. They're, they, they're still married, but they don't really act like they're married, if that makes sense. Like, they kind of just seem like they're together because they have been for so long. As far as what he thinks about this, I don't really know all that much. Because, I, I don't know. I kind of haven't asked him what he thinks. Right, that's what I was going to say. Have you had a conversation with him directly about this? I did one time, uh, right after it happened. I told him what happened. And he didn't say much of anything other than, okay. He didn't tell me that I was crazy, though, which made me feel better, I guess. Hmm. But it's, he didn't so have much to say. On it. it sounds like his relationship with your mom is kind of distant, too. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. So you're cool with him. You're distant to the mom. Do you have any siblings? I do, yes. I have one brother. What's your what's your brother's take? <laughs> um So my brother, I don't think he knows about it, but he does not like the ex boyfriend at all. Mm. So he doesn't know though. Mm-hmm. Were you happy during those five years that you stayed with him? Sometimes. Other times not so much. What do you think, and forgive me if I asked you this already, uh, but what, what do you think kept you going through those through those five years of wanting to keep being with him? Um, it was my first serious relationship, and I really wanted it to work. And I really wanted it to be something that it wasn't. I really wanted it to be like a very loving and serious relationship. And so I thought that if I put enough effort into it, and if I lasted long enough in the relationship, that eventually it would become that. Um, But it never did, so. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking to your thing of whether or not you want to regret it, whether or not you regret this time, this is kind of a classic thing with regret is, you know, you had this experience with this guy over the past five years that turned out to not go exactly how you wanted it to. But did you learn anything that you can use to help you navigate your relationships with other people in the future? Yes. What did you learn? I learned to not continue a relationship if the partner sleeps with a parental figure. I think Um, that's a good takeaway from this. Yeah. Takeaway number one, for sure. Takeaway Takeaway number two, I think, is to have a bit more Mm -hmm. self-respect in relationships. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you're not being hard on yourself. Say that again. Which may tie in nicely to point one. Yeah. Well, I hope you're not being too hard on yourself because it sounds like you were pretty young and and sort of inexperienced with your relationships when this happened. Um, And it sounds like you've you've learned uh, a a great deal since then. So if anything, if you're like in in your your uh, retrospective uh, thinking of, of this situation, I would hope you're not being hard on the past version of yourself or or regretful in a negative way and and really just trying to use it to uh, navigate better in the future yeah yeah definitely what's next for you Sarah in life um so I'm going to get my master's degree um and so I'm excited for that. I'm going to stop working in my field and go and get my master's degree. And so I'm excited for that. Um, as far as relationships goes, I think I'm going to not be in a relationship for, for a while here and just enjoy yeah. being single. 
Yeah. I mean, you know, being in a, I mean, this sounds like, okay, so you're 26. So this was from 19 to 26, these seven years. Uh, I really look at those, if, uh, you know, that, that feels like that time period is there's a lot of self discovery going on there. That feels like it's hard to really dig your teeth into if you're dating somebody. And now that you're single, you you can sink your teeth into a lot of that uh, self discovery that you you might have skipped over. Yeah, I definitely agree. Sarah, is there anything you want to say to the people at the computer before we go? I don't, Gek. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Of course. Have a good night, Sarah. You too. Bye.